Now, our state is dealing with a teacher shortage. A lot of teachers are retiring, some just leaving the field entirely. To help combat the problem, one school system has come up with a unique solution. As Cindy Farmer tells us, it's a great example of what's right with our schools. For these Alamance County High School students, being in the classroom at Andrews Elementary School is almost like on the job training for their future careers. I love working with kids and it just like makes you feel happy knowing that you're helping somebody else. Cheyenne Johnson is a teacher cadet, part of the Alamance Scholars Program. She's getting a glimpse at what it's like to be a teacher. Learning about all the work they do shows how much you actually really have to do as a teacher and it makes it way worth the everything. According to the program directors, that's exactly what it was designed to do. Classwork is great and the theory of learning about foundations of education is important, but we know that the decision to decide to be a teacher is really made in the classroom. It was, it was just a time. It was just a time. One of the things that is so enlightening to them is when they figure out that the magic of teaching doesn't just happen, that there's lesson planning and that there's prep and that there's a lot to uh, what happens in the classroom outside of when you're standing in front of the students. So we talk about all those things. Brecken Clough is also a teacher cadet. He says he's always wanted to be a teacher and this experience has only further inspired him. Yeah, I would personally say that it gives me a lot of insight just into what happens in a classroom and I guess the life of a teacher and how it works because I'll talk to my teacher that I'm observing right now and she'll tell me about the lessons that she's been doing and what they're doing before, how she's been trying to help students who might be falling behind and how she's just organized her lessons in a way that just helps make it easier for them. The school system has teamed up with Alamance Community College and Elon University to streamline the students' education. We have some that are um, this year when they graduate high school are also going to graduate with their associate's degree from Alamance Community College. So those students are only going to be around two years out from being able to come back and work in our schools. And many will come right back to Alamance County classrooms. And we also have students that have made a commitment. Um, at the end of the year, we offer them an acknowledgement, a contract, and say, we want you back. We believe that, that this is the place for you and we appreciate that you want to come back. So we offer them that contract so that when they graduate, they'll have a place here in ABSS. Offering those contracts while they're still in college helps to take away the stress of trying to find a job. I think it's really important, um, again, to create this pipeline so that we can recruit and we can get more teachers um, into the most amazing career there is. Um, I spent 30 years in it, so I speak from experience when I say it's the best thing to do. Plus, it helps to alleviate the ongoing teacher shortage. Cindy Farmer, Fox 8 News. The Alamance Scholars and Teachers Cadet Program lasts one school year and involves both classroom work and at the Career and Technical Education Center and the field work at Andrews Elementary, which is next door to SeaTech. Students can sign up through their guidance counselors.